I just can't be personally responsible. Well, maybe you better incorporate the store. Incorporate? Yes. Incorporating would give you the big advantage of what you want right now. Limited liability. You start with a group of people who want to invest their money in a company. Then these people apply for a charter as a corporation. This government issues a charter to that corporation. Now that corporation operates legally as an individual person. It is not a group of people. It is under the law a legal person. Imperial Steel Incorporated has many of the legal rights of a person. It can buy and sell property. It can borrow money. It can sue in court and be sued. It carries on a business. Imperial Steel, along with thousands of other legal persons, is a part of our daily living. It is a member of our society. Having acquired the legal rights and protections of a person, the question arises, what kind of person is the corporation? Corporations were given the rights of immortal persons, but then special kinds of persons, persons who have no moral conscience. These are a special kind of persons which are designed by law to be concerned only for their stockholders and not, say, what are sometimes called their stakeholders, like the community or the workforce or whatever. The great problem of having corporate citizens is that they aren't like the rest of us. As Baron Thurlow in England is supposed to have said, they have no soul to save and they have no body to incarcerate. All publicly traded corporations have been structured through a series of legal decisions to have a peculiar and disturbing characteristic. They are required, by law, to place the financial interests of their owners above competing interests. In fact, the corporation is legally bound to put its bottom line ahead of everything else, even the public good. That's not a law of nature. That's a very specific decision, in fact, a judicial decision. Uh, so they're concerned only for the short-term profit of their stockholders who are very highly concentrated. To whom do these companies owe um, loyalty? What does loyalty mean? Well, it, it turns out that that was a rather naive concept anyway, as corporations are always owed obligation to themselves to get large and to get profitable. In doing this, it tends to be more profitable to the extent it can make the other people pay the bills for its impact on society. There's a terrible word that economists use for this called externalities. There are costs to be minimized at every turn. And at some point, the corporation says, you know, let somebody else deal with that. Let's let somebody else supply the military power to the Middle East to protect the oil at its source. Let's let somebody else build the roads that we can drive these automobiles on. Let's let somebody else have those problems. And that is where externalities come from. That notion of let somebody else deal with that. I got all I can handle myself. So the pressure's on the corporation to deliver results now and to externalize any cost that this unwary or uncaring public will allow it to externalize. Well, this is the office of the National Labor Committee here in the garment area of New York City. It's a little bit uh, disheveled. These are all uh, from different campaigns. To make this stuff concrete as possible, we purchase all of the products from the, the factories that we're talking about. This shirt sells for $14.99, and the women who made the shirt got paid three cents. Liz Claiborne jackets made in El Salvador. The jackets are $178, and the workers were paid 74 cents for every jacket they made. Alpine car stereos, 31 cents an hour. 
It's not just sneakers, it's not just apparel, it's, it's everything. We were in Honduras, and some workers, they knew the kind of work that we did, and they approached us, these young workers, and they said, uh, conditions in our factory are horrible. Will you please meet with us? And we said we would, but you can't meet in the developing world. You can't walk up to a factory with your notebook and workers come out and interview them. I mean, there's goons, there's spies, the military police. So you do everything in a clandestine manner. We're about to start the meeting, and in walk three guys, very tough-looking guys. The company had found out about our meeting and sent these spies. Obviously, uh, we didn't have the meeting, but these young girls were really bright. And as they were leaving, away from the eyesight of the spies, they started to put their hands underneath the table. And I put my palm under there, I put my hand under there, and they put into my, my hand their pay stubs. So we'd know who they were, what they were paid, and the labels that they made in the factory, so we'd know who they worked for. And I took my hand out after everyone had left, and then the palm of my hand was the face of Kathy Lee Gifford. But the bottom of it is the, the interesting part. A portion of the proceeds from the sale of this garment will be donated to various children's charities. It's very touching. Get your right here. Walmart is telling you if you purchase these pants, and Kathy Lee is telling you, you purchase these pants, you're going to help children. The problem was the people who handed us the label were 13 years of age. Do many people have family work? Just me. You support. How many people do you support? Eight people. Eight people. And how do you do with that salary? Is it enough? Let's look at it from a, a different point of view. Let's look at it from the point of view of the, the uh, people in Bangladesh who are starving to death, the people in China who are starving to death, and the only thing that they have to offer to anybody that is worth anything is their low-cost labor. And in effect, what they are saying to the world is they have this big flag that says, come over and hire us. We will work for 10 cents an hour because 10 cents an hour will buy us the rice that we need not to starve. And come and rescue us from our circumstance. And so when Nike comes in, they are regarded by everybody in the community as an enormous godsend. Hey, 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 hey,